Okay, solve the, each of the equations below. Let me turn on the uh, grid lines here. And then some, some graph paper just so I have something to keep my lines straight. Uh, let's start with A. A, our equation is 8 minus uh, the quantity of 2x plus 1, and then that equals 3. I'm going to begin by subtracting 8 from both sides. And I'm going to be kind of careful here. Uh, when I take away 8 from both sides, this is still negative. 2x plus 1. It's still the opposite of that quantity. Over on the other side, I have 8 minus 3, which is a negative 5. Hmm. So now, let's see. I think what I want to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by the number negative 1. That'll get rid of the uh, negative, the opposites that I see on both sides. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1 or take the opposite of both sides. If I do that to the left-hand side, it becomes um, a 2x plus 1. And on the other side, it becomes a positive 5. Now, at this point, because there's nothing outside of these parentheses that I need to distribute, that is just the quantity 2x plus 1. And that equals 5. And then real quickly, of course, taking away 1 from both sides gives me that 2x is 4. And if I divide both sides by 2, I get that x is equal to 2. Um, now, taking that value, probably it would be wise to, you know, plug it in and verify that the left and the right-hand side become the same. So I'm going to quickly do that right here. I'm going to check this. Um, if x equals the number 2, then on one side I have 8 minus, open parentheses, 2 times 2 plus 1. And on the other side, I'm trying to see if that's the same as the number 3. So let's see here. This becomes 8 times, let's see, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. So this becomes 8, and I, I forgot, it's 8 minus this 5. And 8 minus 5 is 3, and that's exactly what I had on the other side. So it does check. That's most definitely my solution. X is the number 2. So let's take a look at the, the next equation. It's the square root of x plus 4 equals 9. So let me write this down here. The square root of x plus the number 4 equals the number 9. Well, let's see. I can most definitely uh, subtract a 4 from both sides. And that gives me that the square root of x is equal to 5. And if I look up, look at think about this, right, I'm going to take the square root of something to get the value 5. So if I'm looking inside here, this, this x number, right, well, it would have to be the number uh, 25. Um, x would must equal 25 because the square root of uh, 25 is 5. Another way I can think about this is I could square both sides. So if I square the uh, left-hand side, this becomes an x. Um, yeah, it's a, yeah it, it becomes an x. And then on the other side, if I square 25, I do get uh, the 25. So in either case, I think I'm pretty safe to say that x is the number uh, 25. And 25, the square root of 25 is 5. And 5 plus 4 is 9. So it does check as well.